Nearly six months after Rager Dykes filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, there are still questions lingering on the status of those dealerships. It's been a big, drawn out bankruptcy case with lots of unanswered and confusing questions. Sure, Rager Dykes back in court today talking about the next legal steps in the case, which include a big meeting in Michigan where Ford is headquartered, of course. KMAX Paige Peroso is here tonight to help explain where the bankruptcy case is to now. And, and, and Paige, I guess cars are still being sold, huh? That's right. Of the 11 dealership locations we called this afternoon, only five picked up our calls to tell us they were in fact open. And of those five, only three said they were still selling cars. The cars on these lots, they're still for sale, but only on certain circumstances, like if you can pay cash. The other dealerships around town, they can't sell anything. And soon there might not be cars here at all. The bankruptcy judge ruled last week that Ford could stop its agreements with Rager Dykes altogether, which means they can take back their cars. To come in there and provide financing to buy you know, an entire inventory of cars to sell to, for them to continue business. So how does this all affect the progress of the case? Well, it could stop the plan of keeping Rager Dykes open. If Ford is able to take all their collateral and there are no cars left to sell, and there's no other floor plan financer lined up right now to get something done, then it's hard to see how this case doesn't convert into a liquidation bankruptcy. In court on Wednesday, lawyers for Rager Dykes hinted at the possibility of another interested buyer. But Fernando Busto says that might be a hard sell with no cars. It's harder to do that. It's harder for a third party dealer to come in here and rescue this deal if there's no cars to come with the deal. Right now, most of the dealerships are open, doing repair and maintenance work. Ford Motor Credit calls this the largest floor plan financing fraud case in U.S. history. So that's pretty big. Several of those dealerships telling us Ford is coming in the next couple of days to collect its cars. Now the next question is the status of the Chapter 11 reorganization plan involving McDougal Companies, Rick Dykes, and a dealership out of Dallas. As of now, Ford has said no, and the judge was critical of the plan. There's a May 1st deadline to provide a revised or new plan on that one.